Once we've finished cleaning our flow cell, reassembling everything, and we've collected the new empty cell reference spectrum, now it's time to do a path length calibration. So to do that, you're going to need the path length calibration fluid that should have come with your oil express. Here we have some that's already been prepared and in a bottle. If you have a test tube, of course you're going to place the path length fluid in the test tube and you're going to make sure you have enough to supply an adequate quantity so that the tip can actually reach it. We're going to use what's called our squalene path length method from Oil Express to calibrate this. We're going to go to Oil Express. Now if the instrument has sat overnight or for some time it's always a good idea to open wind prep and initialize and also to prime the system in Oil Express before you run your path length calibration or any other batches for that matter. We're going to open Oil Express, we're going to go to setup, we're going to go to instrument, spectrometer, and we're going to select the path length calibrate tab. And under properties, we're going to make sure that we are on the correct method by collect, or clicking on import. And we're going to select the path length squalene QMD method. We'll open that. And we note that our threshold values are set here to 0.09 to 0.125 for your path length. And the default path length for that spacer setup that we use for the Oil Express is 0.1. We're going to apply this, say OK. Now we're going to make sure that the clean lines after calibration is selected. The rack, rack ID is sample 1, as we mentioned short a uh, little while ago and we're going to start and once that started we're going to I've already primed so I don't need to prime again so the tip boxes are already set we're going to start the oil express instrument will begin go over and pick up one tip aspirate the sample dispense the sample clean the lines and replace the tip in the used tip tray and then after that it will give us an indication as to whether or not the path length was in the acceptable range and it tells us our path length has passed and the path length we have received is 0.1113 we can close our report and select OK and it will automatically apply that to the correct spectrometer now in this case we did the lower spectrometer if you would like to do the upper spectrometer you will select the upper spectrometer to perform that path length calibration. You want to always make sure that you use an internal standard or one of our standards to ensure that your numbers are within specification. Our standard is part number N9308350 and it comes with a specification sheet based on running the corrected version of the empty cell reference spectrum and it's also important to note the lot number. If you have multiple bottles of the control uh, standard you always want to make sure that you use the spec sheet that matches the lot number that is on the bottle.